scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up, guys? The Panthers here, and welcome back to a race to the cup where myself, A9 Skills, and Cal Freezy are racing to uh, to win that um, that elusive gold cup. Now, the way this works, if you missed the first episode, is basically we're opening 24,000 FIFA points worth of packs, uh, building the best possible team we can, and seeing who can win the gold cup quicker. We are not allowed to buy or sell players. Um, we just have to make do with what we get in the packs. Now, fortunately, in the last episode. I packed a legend, which was fucking brilliant. It was my first legend of the year. Uh, I was very, very happy with it. And you guys went ham on the like. So thank you guys for that. Um, some of you guys already sent me kind of like predetermined um, teams. Some, some teams that I may or may not be able to build. Basing if I get a few players here or there. I think most of you guys want to see like um, that legend. And then uh, kind of... A oh, look at that. We get a Manike. Get in. Get in. Oh, Dante duplicates. Uh, unfortunately, I only have two spots left on my transfer list, so he's going to have to get discarded because uh, I don't want to end up packing like some duplicate legend or some shit, you know what I mean? And not, not having room for him. We get a duplicate Drogba there as well. Um, yeah, so you guys already sent me in like teams that I could build. What's going to happen after this episode, guys, is uh, on Sunday, which is tomorrow for you guys, obviously not for me uh, recording this. Um, yeah, so tomorrow for you guys. Um, I'm going to do a squad builder video where I'm going to put up two or three different teams. I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description. And you guys are basically going to vote on which um, which squad you want to see me play in the uh, in the Gold Cup. See me play with. And then obviously I'm, I'm going to be racing against Calfrizi and A9 skills um, to uh, to see who can win the Cup the fastest. So uh, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be good. So we've got 12,000 FIFA points. So I've got 10,500 to go. We get Vargas there. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, we're looking to build into a, an Italian slash Italian league slash BPL hybrid because I also did pack Torre. Um, we get Varane there, not bad, not bad. Um, so one guy sent me like um, a team that had like uh, Inzaghi and uh, Graziano Pele up front um, and then had like Torre behind and uh, the midfielders. We get Kieran Gibbs there, that's good again for the BPL stuff. Um, but ultimately... I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna. What am I hoping for? I'm hoping for an, like another strong BPL striker, um, someone like Sturridge. Oh, look at that! We get Cavani, guys. Get in. That is decent. We get Cavani, um, and uh, he's not really worth very much this year because he's a bit slow. Can, if you can hear that outside as well, I really do apologise. I'm not kidding. I said this in like I just finished recording a video like 20 minutes ago. And it was silence for about an hour before I started recording. As soon as I hit record, some guy started like drilling and grinding and, uh, you know, like doing fucking metal work and stuff. And I was just like, oh my God, like, like, could you just not do this in a, in 20 minutes or so? Finished the video, went silent, started this next video and bang, what do you know? There's uh, people setting off fireworks just outside my house. Absolute wank stains. If they could just give me a minute or 15, because it probably take about 12, 15 minutes to open these packs. That would be fan fucking -tastic. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, um, whilst we go through these packs today, I've got some questions on Twitter. Um, and uh, I'm just going to keep answering them because uh, I like answering questions during the pack openings. It makes, uh, makes it go a bit quicker and, and keeps it a bit more entertaining than just opening the pack. So the next, uh, next question we've got is from Nathan Herdman. Or I say the next question because for me it is the next question. But uh, for him, obviously, it's his first question. And for you guys listening, it's also your first question. He says, uh, what will you do at a million subs? I, I, will, I will do nothing. Um, I, I could do something for a million subs. And I would like to do something. Oh, we get Ramos. That's a good pull. That is a good pull. Um, but in, in terms of creativity like that for sub ideas I'm, I'm just terrible at it so um i'll tell you something though it's uh I, i'm going on a track day uh, really soon um so maybe i'll record the track day like you know i'm going to drive like ferraris and uh lambos and stuff around a racetrack which is going to be fucking awesome um so maybe i'll record that and see if I can find myself like a really good editor to um, to edit it, and we'll do some uh, we'll do something special there. We get Manzukic, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe I'll record the track day, and when I eventually get to a million subs, which if I keep growing at the rate I'm growing, should take about um, should take about probably about three and a half to four months for me to get to a million subscribers. So uh, 
Yes, it's still a long way off and nothing is guaranteed, you know, YouTube's uh, YouTube's funny, man. Like, I've been through stages in YouTube where I've been uh, I've been gaining like 1.5 to 2,000 subs a day. And then out of nowhere, you just go down and all of a sudden you're gaining four or 500 subs a day. And uh, whilst that's still a, a lot of people to, to be new to your channel every day, um, it is uh, slightly disappointing when you go down like that. Anyway, next question. Um, will you reply to this question? Yes, I, I, I will reply to that question. Great question. Um, will you play Pez this year? Uh, probably, I'll, I'll probably give it a shot. I did like Pez um, when I played it. We get Bonatia. I tell you what, guys, we could build a pretty sick Bundesliga team. We've pulled a few of the good players so far. Bonatia is pretty decent. Um, yeah, like I was, I was pumped for it when I was at Gamescom and, and saw how it was playing. But now FIFA's already been released. And the fact that the new hype of all the games has kind of died down a bit, I'm, I'm just, I'm not really that fussed, uh, to be perfectly honest. But I, I do want to play it, I do want to give it a shot, and I will make videos on it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, I'm not, the hype for me has died down massively. Um, we got, uh, can you do the Helium Challenge one day? I, I, I suppose I could. The thing about those challenges is, I've, I've never been the sort of channel, like, when the Harlem Shake came out, I didn't do the Harlem Shake. When uh, the ALS ice bucket challenge came I didn't do the ice bucket challenge and not because I didn't want to support the charity but just because I like I think people completely misunderstood what the ice bucket challenge was about and it kind of became an internet meme for people to get views rather than for people to actually support the challenge and uh, I just didn't want to do that and, and I don't typically get on the the stuff that does incredibly well on the internet and, and has clickable title stuff like that because it's just it's not my style to just copy someone else because something's doing successful. I, I really like to be an innovator, I really like to do my own things. And you see by the series that I do, I, I, I typically don't ever do a series that somebody else has already done. I try to be creative and intuitive and think of new things. These packs are terrible. Um, so yeah, that's just not my not my cup of tea. So I, I might, maybe I'll do it one day, um, but uh, maybe I won't at the same time. So who knows? Uh, but uh, we got the next question. Um, cheap Neymar and why? Well, I'll do a video on the cheap Neymar in uh, in the near future, and uh, we'll move on to the next question. Um, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? I would be working at my job. I have a family business. Many of you don't know because I've gained a lot of lot of subs since I started doing YouTube full time. But um, I, I run, or I used to run, my dad's pub industry. I guess we had three pubs. Uh, we now have two pubs in central London. Um, and I used to manage and take care of the pubs, or well, I was in one specifically, but I used to take care of like the finances of one of the other pubs, and uh, just basically the general uh, the general management of the of the pubs. So if uh, if ever YouTube stopped, or if um, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would just be able to go back into that uh, that family business. I'm in a very privileged position in that manner, where I do have that to fall back on. It's, it's funny because a lot of people always question, "What are you going to do when YouTube ends?" And it's like. I, I got I got things, man. Like, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I got things. Um, I have got things. One question I've, I've actually skipped past it as we get Mikel and Socrates again, another good uh, Bundesliga player. Um, someone just I've skipped past the question. Now. I can't see, couldn't see the whole question, but said, "Have you ever eaten a raw potato?" Funny story. El De Niro has a video of me eating a raw potato on the London Underground. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I don't remember, and it was many years ago. But that video exists. It's there. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to see me eating a raw potato on a tube, for whatever reason you might want to see that, uh, just hit up El De Niro and ask him, um, ask him to upload that video. So yeah. Um, what do I think about Arsenal's comeback? Did they deserve it? They didn't deserve it at all. We played very poorly uh, against Anderlecht. Um, but I'm happy we came back. I, I think... Uh, I think we showed true grit to the end, you know, the, the game lasts for 90 minutes, so you've got to play as hard as you can for 90 minutes, and that's something that Anderlecht just quite simply didn't do, and if they did do that, they probably would have won the game. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy we got the three points. It was an important three points for us in that league, because otherwise it could have been tough for us to get out of that group, um, you know, if, if we didn't get those three points. So yeah, I'm very happy, but no, I don't I don't believe we deserved the, deserved the win there. Um, would you rather watch the final of the Champions League or get 10 million coins on foot? Uh, well, considering... Uh, my uh, my riches in foot anyway. I, I would rather watch the final on Champions League. But even if I was even if I was dead broke and only had like, oh look, we've got to build a Bundesliga team, guys. Aubameyang, come on. Um, yeah, I would I would always opt to go and see something in real life over something virtual in a game. Um, so yeah, 
I would definitely uh, I would definitely prefer to go see the Champions League finale. Um, a lot of a lot of the questions are exactly the same and uh, stuff that I've already answered. So uh, there's a here's a question from Joshua Pierce, and this is a question as we get Lavetsi in a pack. We've got some okay packs, not crazy packs. Um, he says, "What came first, the chicken or the egg?" Um, scientifically proven that the egg actually came first, and the chicken is nothing more than a um, a deformed version of what it previously was. So the, the question isn't what came first, the chicken or the egg. The question is what came first, wh like what mutated enough to lay an egg in the first place, because that's how it comes from. It comes from genetics and, and genetic mutation. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen like the, the things, you know, well from like monkey into man or ape into man, or, or if you've seen the, the videos where it shows you like uh, a dinosaur and how it changes and changes into a lizard and then into a fish and it comes out of fish and it's a different animal and you know it progresses through through the years and that's basically how it happens so ultimately the the egg came first and the chicken was just a a bad mutation of something that was in the egg but then you know the, the way the way the world works is the chicken found a way to survive um, and then continue to breed its um, I don't. I don't want to say race because it is. Is it a race of chickens? Like, uh, yeah. But the the chicken. The chicken survived, basically. So yeah, the egg came first, and that's a fact. That's an absolute fact. So um, I understand the the conundrum of a question though, because it's like, well, obviously the chicken came first because it laid the egg. But then how did the chicken hatch? You know, like yada yada yada. But that's how. Uh, that's how. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. Um, should you like to see Pep, former Barcelona manager, currently at Bayern at Arsenal? Fuck yes, I love that guy. I loved him as a player. I think he was one of the best managers in world football at Barcelona. I think he has gone on even further at Bayern to prove that he is one of the best managers in world football. And I would love him at Arsenal. And he's so young still, he could he could easily have 20 or 30 years at one club if he wanted it. Um, so yeah, bring him, bring him, give him to us. I have a feeling though for Arsenal, um, the next management team will be Dennis Burkamp and Thierry Henry. Um, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I think Dennis Burkamp is already doing his uh, manager coaches and his coaching badges anyway. Um, and yeah, I think. I, I think a lot of the Arsenal old guard. Uh, Tony Adams is already at the club. Uh, Martin Keown is at the club. Steve Bold is at the club. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just think I think uh, it'll be someone like Burkamp and uh, Burkamp and Henri. Can you imagine that as managers of Arsenal? Burkamp and Henri as the managers. It'll be fucking brilliant. Um, next question we've got. Uh, do you think 2014 is your best year of all time? Um, it is certainly up there. It's been a really good year. I've, I've had uh, a lot of low points this year. Um, you, you know, uh, as a YouTuber, when you make videos, you, you only try to project... Uh, entertainment and, and positives because who would want to sit here listening to someone moan and bitch all day long about their problems but um, you, you don't realize not just me and specifically not me there are a lot of people out there who do YouTube for a full-time job uh, for a living who struggle hard in life with, with like inner problems with um, you know mental disabilities and and suicide thoughts and depression and, and I don't mean like oh, I'm, I'm a bit sad I'm a bit bored I'm a bit lonely I mean like severe depression um, so whilst uh, 2014 has been a fantastic year for me in many many senses, um, it's also I've, I've had a lot of uh, a lot of downs this year. You know, there's been a lot of problems uh, for, for me in my my life and my family this year, and it's stuff that I don't really want to talk about on YouTube because you know what people are like. Uh, they, they take anything and just use it against you. So if I even spoke about the problems I had, next thing I know I'd have 50 people on Twitter giving me shit about it, and uh, it's, it's just not something uh, it's just not something you want. Um, so after the first pack opening, guys. We got uh, apps. We got great stuff the first time around. Obviously, a legend. Um, this time around, it hasn't been too great. I've only got 900 FIFA points left, and things aren't looking too good. So we've got a few questions more we can fit in. Um, is it just me, or do you look a bit like Seamus? Well, I think a lot of people think I look a bit like Seamus. I personally don't think I look like Seamus. But that's me. You know, that's just me. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, what am I going to name my child? I don't know yet, actually. Uh, the, the baby is due on January the 14th. And um, it's going to be a girl. And we've got a list of names. We've got a few names that we like. But nothing has really like been like, yes, it's, you know, we should name her that. So at the moment, I don't know. I, I literally don't know. Um, we're still thinking about it. So we've got 300 FIFA points left. 
after this pack. We get Pele in a pack, always nice. Um, I'm going to go away and build some uh, some squads after this, and you'll see the squads on YouTube tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like rating on it, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. We get Mangala there. I don't know if we're going to have, have a crazy good team. We have got a lot of really good players, but they're from all over the place in terms of leagues. So, yeah, I don't know how uh, quite how this... Um, I don't quite know how this team is going to shape up and, and what sort of teams we're going to be able to end up uh, making. Uh, we have got one more pack to go, uh, the free pack. So let's have a look what we get in this pack. We get absolutely fair kills. So there we go, guys. That is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.